I'm Don McQuarrie and I teach physics at Linden High School and this is the Physics of Skiing program. Okay, we are going up to the mountains tomorrow. When students take their own data and decide how to determine their own results, physics becomes more than just numbers in a textbook. My name is Sarah Smith, I'm a senior at Linden High School and I'm taking physics. Not only is physics fun, but it makes it a lot easier to learn when we're up here doing it for ourselves and we get to just hang out and see physics in action. Hey, I'm Chantal, Venezuela. I'm a senior at Linden High School, and I'm in Mr. McCrory's physics class, fourth period. He's a really good teacher. Um, he really um, seems to really want to have fun with us and make sure that we understand everything. Um, he gives us something to look forward to every day. The theory is that the farther you get away from the center of the Earth, the less G actually is. So if you were sitting on top or standing on top of Mount Everest, the acceleration due to gravity would be a little bit less. Those guys are in orbit around uh, the Earth, it's substantially less. Hey, I'm Joe Grogan from Linden High School. I'm taking the physics class with Mr. McCory. We're up here on the mountain, just getting a chance to apply some of the mechanics that we've learned. Great time, great way to be able to apply the stuff that we've been taught, so it is Mount Baker. And, and so I'm asking you to find G, the acceleration due to gravity, at a place other than sea level, which is where we are, 90 feet above sea level. We're going to climb up and see if there's any significant difference, and I'm asking you to use both methods because you may get a different value. And which one is the most accurate? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, it doesn't matter you know, what really we're doing here. I'm trying to get you into an environment that is a little different. So, tough it. Uh, measure your acceleration as you go down and then back up the half pipe. And you can figure your total velocity. Then you can figure your acceleration because uh, VF minus VI divided by 2 is your... Uh, Average, uh, average velocity. Physics has a bad reputation as a class for geeks, smart people, and nerds. I wanted to get them out of the classroom and into the real world. Also, the fact that we do go skiing, I think attracts kids into the program. Today is the day you're gonna take the data that you picked up yesterday, and you're going to deal with it. You're going to present to me um, some of your results. Okay? The format of the results on each task that you have performed, um, I'd like one report per group. Linden High School instituted its Physics of Skiing program in about 1995 with the complete support of the Mount Baker ski area. We did this to provide something of a culminating experience in mechanics for our physics students.